Paul McKenna has spoken about today's culture, insisting that nowadays everyone's offended by everything after addressing remarks made by Prince Harry which sparked uproar last year. Celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna has addressed the backlash to Prince Harry's comments over rising resignation rates last year. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, the star, 58, said that everyone's offended by everything, adding that the royal had to be really careful with his comments. The best-selling author made his comments in light of the remarks the Duke of Sussex made in his role as chief impact officer for mental health company, Better Up, last year. Addressing what Harry had said, Paul said he wasn't surprised at the backlash as everyone's offended by everything nowadays. The hypnotist insisted, I'm sure he's a well-intentioned person. That doesn't mean that everything that someone says, even if they're well-intentioned, isn't necessarily going to upset people. You know, over the years, we've all had that experience, when you go to say something, and people take offense at it, he added. Speaking about today's culture, Paul weighed in, nowadays everyone's offended by everything, aren't they? So you have to be really careful. I'm sure he said it well-intentioned. I don't suspect he woke up and thought, how can I offend people? He continued. Speaking with business magazine Fast Company last month in his role as chief impact officer at mental health company Better Up, the royal explained why he was celebrating the pandemic fueling job resignations. Harry said, I've actually discovered recently, courtesy of a chat with Better Up Science board member, Adam Grant, that a lot of the job resignations you mention aren't all bad. In fact, it is a sign that with self awareness comes the need for change. Many people around the world have been stuck in jobs that didn't bring them joy, and now they're putting their mental health and happiness first. This is something to be celebrated, he added. Elsewhere in the interview, the hypnotherapist spoke about his decision to move back to the UK after ditching his glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. Paul revealed why he decided to return to London after putting his £8 million Hollywood Hills luxury home on the market in 2017. The star and his wife Kate moved back to London after 10 years of living the LA lifestyle. Speaking about that period in his life, Paul said, I was in Hollywood for 10 years and loved it, it was absolutely fantastic. However, the star explained that living in the city was a completely different experience to living in the UK. He said, but, you know, Los Angeles is not just a location, it's an ontology, it's a state of mind. And if you're going to live there and prosper there, you have to think in an entirely different way to the way we do here. It has a different set of values, he added. Paul also told how it was difficult to carve out real friendships in Tinseltown, explaining that he and Kate decided to move back to the UK where their friends live. Prince Charles is said to love his sons, including Prince Harry, dearly as he is looking to spend some precious time with the Duke of Sussex. However, Harry has been warned that his father will not go as far as making a grand gesture to express his love. Royal expert Rebecca English told Palace Confidential, the Prince of Wales does really love his son and yes, there is a dialogue going on there between them and, of course, the hope is that one day they will be able to repair their relationship. But the royal family is just not kind of prone to these grand gestures. That said I think probably, they do want Harry to eventually be able to come to the UK and spend some quality time with his father. But of course, it all depends I think slightly on how things go over the next few weeks regarding the judicial review he's seeking from the Home Office about his security. And of course, there is that kind of lurking bombshell of his memoir that's due to come out later this year. His memoir